So, yeah. Well, I, I wish you a lot of luck on that. Now, now, as we're getting closer to 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 uh, the end of our time, uh, we we also want don't want to let you go without talking about a, a core value. And so, uh, core values, as our as our audience knows, uh, we're we're really into to to those things because those are the things that we use to to make decisions in our business or in our life. I know in the Scouts we have the twelve points of the Scout Law, and and so um, why don't you share uh, one of your core values and that, that you use in making decisions in in your business or in in your life? Sure. Uh, so yeah, um, one of the big things that's been, uh, it has always been with me and this just goes for business. Um, when, when I was telling you guys earlier, how I pushed my dad to make these new investments and that I was going to take them on aside from just making a, a larger profit, uh, but also to hire more people, um, I started focus on what what is doing good for Laredo, right? And one of the things, one of our longest traditions here in Laredo has been uh, the Washington's birthday celebration. Mm -hmm. And I've really pushed hard on joining their, their board membership because I wanted to be part of this group of people who are, are bringing business, not only you know, to, to themselves or to other smaller bits and pieces, but to the entire city. And I, I started to see the benefit of it every, every January and February when the celebration would start where we would be super busy and it wouldn't just be from the association. It would be from other people who are participating in these events. And then I started seeing the restaurants are more busy. The, the hotels are busier. The, the people doing like trophies and awards, those little small businesses are doing better. And I really wanted to be part of that. I wanted to be part of that group that was making things better. So a core value I would say for me is definitely pro-business. I think uh, it always has been, and it probably always will be. And uh, family business, you know, that's, that's the, the key for me. Um, so if we're talking about a core value in business, it's just, let's, let's go get it. You know, that's, mm -hmm. it's, it's out there. You, you can do it. Uh, all you got to do is have the right mindset. And, um, I, I think that's kind of sums it up maybe. Yeah. And I, we follow you on, on Instagram and on the social platforms. And I think I, I see that as well, you know, and you, we tag each other, you know, it's a local business supporting another local business. Then we saw each other at the bagel place, you know, the, tr the truck bagel uh, place, which was fantastic. And I'll put their name down there too. <laughs> but it's, it is that it is, you know, we have to support each other. You know, we have to just, yes. you know, be out there. You know what, what does it cost you, you know, to do a little share, to let people know, you know, I don't spend that much time. People might be surprised on social media. I might get there just a little bit, do what I need to do for work. But if I see something that's of people that I believe in, you know what, let me help them out. Let's, you know, give them a shout out. Let's give them a right. share. Let's give them the business. Yeah. You know, and that's important to identify, make that effort um, to, to help your local businesses, your, your chamber of commerce businesses and, and, and help sustain that economic development. Right. Yeah. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you a single dollar, you know, to, to do, to share those posts, to shout out your favorite businesses. Um, and just to, just overall, just, just be a good person, just to be a good person. It, it really does go a long way. And I'm, I'm starting to see that come to, to life. You know, I, I've, never, I've never pushed away my competitors in the printing business. I've always welcomed them with open doors. Like, hey, if there's something I can help you with, by all means, give me a call, shoot me an email, come to the, come to the print shop. Like, you need to borrow uh, some, some, uh, some merchandise? Like, yeah, I could sell it to you at cost or you can just give it back to me when you get your shipment in. And, um, that's the, it's, it's, it pays off, you know, 
It that was last way. that was last week's core value, the golden rule. I think we had our guest, and and that's I mean that's what it is. It's do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. Yeah, and I've, and I've been practicing that for a while, and I think I've seen it come to you know I've seen more benefits to it than than the contrary. Yeah. Right. The, the the thing is one of one of the things that my mentor always says is givers get. And so if you're open and like, like the five, five for five or five by five, uh, like the Richard James group that we're involved with, um, we, when, when you're open to, to, to share and, and, and help somebody else, it's going to come back to you. And that person may not be the one that, that, that rewards it, but it comes back because you're, 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 you're just, will, will attract those things because when you, when you give back, people want to reciprocate and people see that you're, that you're confident. You're, you're, you know, you're not uh, afraid of your competitor. Oh, if, if, if they know, you know, whatever, they know the cost of this or, hey, well, here's my opportunity to have them fail their client. And then uh, I can just say, well, if you had just come to me, we could do it you know, instead of making them look bad, you, you, you're there like, Hey, I can be, I'm, I'm, I'm here to back you up. If you, if you need help, mm-hmm. uh, you know, they're, they're going to come to you when they have a job. If they get a job, that's too big, they're going to come and try to say, Hey, can we partner on this? Cause I know you've got the capacity and together we can accomplish it. So it can bring in those, those extra things. Um, but the, the other thing that I wanted to say that that's a neat thing about Laredo is, uh, and you having spent some time in the Valley, uh, recently, um, Mm -hmm. you know, they have a lot of the chains, a lot of the, the, the chain restaurants and things like that, that we're, we, for some reason, we're not able to attract those, those, um, those chains very easily when they get here, they're very successful. But what I think that's also done is it has opened up some unique local uh, restaurants uh, like Pete Mims uh, restaurants. Uh, you know, they're very good, very good food. When, when my friends come from the Valley, I take them to, to some of these different places and they're like, man, I don't know where I'm gonna take you in, in, in the Valley because they're all chains. So, um, so I think that's that's one of the neat things about our community is is we support our our, our local local businesses and 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 I I, th- I commend you for doing that and I think it's important for us to continue because you know we're we're in this we live in an island mm-hmm. you know would you agree with me we're 150 miles from anywhere bigger so so we're we're kind of an island and it it's you know like living in like living in Hawaii it has its pros and cons. Uh, but if we all help each other, cause we're on the same Island, you know, we're, we're, we're going to be able to, to keep prospering this Island. I agree. hundred percent.